Roy, you knew the task was difficult. Has that underlined today with that result how difficult it is? I don't know really. I mean, I think that there were moments in today's game where I, I could take a lot of encouragement. I mean, uh, a goal down after two or three minutes obviously it was the worst possible scenario but I thought during the rest of that half we held our end up reasonably well and showed some signs as well of being able to pass the ball please do Jose yeah 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 um, but then of course in the second half we, we did the same again you know, 2 nil became 3 nil. so really all you're asking of your players after that is can you show me some character can you show me some resilience can you show me some fighting spirit which indeed they, they did because, you know, we, we're we playing with a left winger at centre forward. You know, we don't have any other real forward players. Wilf Sahar is still injured. And I think that if we can take some of the things from this game, which were not too bad by, by my standards or in my opinion, then, then who knows, you know, we can possibly build on these things. At the moment, we're like the boxer who's being knocked down by superior opponents. But... At least we're getting ourselves up off the canvas and, and going in again, and that in itself is something. And of course, we have a fantastic bunch of fans who back us up at all times, and we're even able to joke at 4 0. So uh, I must say, they're stronger than I am. I can't joke at 4 0. Roy, one of the great arts of management is knowing what to say to players when things are going wrong, not when they're going well. What are you saying to the players? What are you talking to them about? I'm talking pretty much in the way I'm talking to you. You know, there's a lot that we, we've got to put right, but it's things we've got to put right tactically, uh, a large amount of it anyway, and that's something which is my job and, and the work of myself and the coaching staff on the training field. When it comes to the character and the, the resilience, uh, we've got to demand more of people in that respect. But of course you are dependent on your personnel there, and some, some players are more able to show that resilience and grafting than others. Um, but I think that the message today really was you've got to be disappointed because of the way we conceded the goals, and obviously the goals are, are goals that we weren't happy to concede. But on the other hand, we never once laid down, and even towards the end of the game, we were asking a few questions of United, but uh, questions, unfortunately, they found relatively easy to answer. The fixture gods haven't been that kind to you, because even after the international break, I think it's Chelsea next. Yeah. Do you have to see that as a challenge rather than looking at it as being another potential banana skin for you? Well, every, every premiership game is, is a potential banana skin, I suppose. And when you play the top three or four teams that seem to get stronger and stronger and you know, get better and better results both at home and away, um, that doesn't make the task any easier. But it's a home game. You know, we'll have a, a good support, I hope, from our crowd. Hopefully you might have one or two players back by that time, not Christian, but there might be one or two others that we, we, we get fit for the game. And we'll have two more weeks' work in an attempt to, to try and shore up, if you like, some of the weaknesses which uh, we've identified and which the players are working on. Just finally, Ryan, I know you won't be happy and the owners won't be happy and the fans won't be happy looking at the table, but have people got to continue to believe? Is it too early to become over-concerned? I think concern is a dangerous word, because I think you've always got to be concerned. You know, when, once you start suggesting people shouldn't be concerned, you open yourself up to all sorts of uh, potential criticism. Of course we're very concerned, but the, the only consolation I can have is that you don't get relegated in, in September or early October, you get relegated in May. And I'm confident that we will become a better and better team. I think we'll cause more problems for teams defensively. And I think defensively we will get stronger and, and make it harder for teams to score against us. And we'll be playing perhaps against teams with a, a similar squad and a similar uh, uh, amount of money spent on recruitment, if you like. Because uh, at the moment we are playing the, the absolute cream, if you like, of the Premier League, where unfortunately when you do make a mistake, the people who've got the chance tuck them away. Right, wish you well. Thanks, David.